Multi cookers and air fryers are hugely popular at the moment, and this new Ninja Speedy that I've been testing is one of the most versatile yet. It boasts no less than 10 functions. They're all listed on the front here, including things like steam air fry, steam bake, bake and roast, dehydrate, sear and saute, even slow cook. One thing it doesn't have, incidentally, which many uh, Ninja machines do have, is a pressure cooker function. But the special function on this one that does make it different and potentially game changing, yes, I think it might actually justify the phrase, is speedy meals. This uses a layered approach in the device to cook multiple things at once and cut down on washing up using fewer pots and pans and cooking things quicker. Let's have a look inside. Now on the top you'll notice there's a heating element with a fan behind it that's uh, used for the air frying. In the middle goes this crisping tray which has extendable legs so you can position it higher up or lower down in the unit. Lower down, for example, when you're just using it as an air fryer, it gives you more room to air fry stuff. Higher up, when you want to crisp something on top, but leave more room in the pot at the bottom. You can use this pot to uh, boil vegetables and uh, create steam, or you can use it on its own as a slow cooker and for things like searing. Beneath the pot, there is another heating element and the Speedy uses the two elements in combination to achieve its different cooking effects. Helping it do this is the smart switch, this big switch on the side. When the switch is flipped to a rapid cooker mode for these functions here, it closes the steam vents in the unit to retain more steam to rapidly cook your food. When it's flipped back to air fry mode, it opens the vents and lets more steam escape. It comes with a useful recipe book to get you started, which incorporates useful descriptions as to how the different modes work. Better still though, there's a menu builder on the Ninja website, which acts like an app and really helps creating really rather tasty meals, even if you've only got the minimum of ingredients. Typically you might want to put some rice pasta or potatoes in the bottom, maybe with some additional veg, all sitting in some vegetable stock. Here goes. Then your chosen protein goes on top. I've got some uh, chicken breasts here, which I've applied some seasoning to on the cook and crisp tray, and they're going in on top. Right, time to switch on. Turn the smart switch to rapid cooker. Make sure that Speedy Meals is selected and the recipe builder is recommending a temperature of 195 and a time of between 10 and 15 minutes. I think I will go for 12. So, I'll start it up and it goes into heating mode. Now it's not needed in this very simple recipe but you can pause cooking if you want to to add things at different times simply by opening the lid. You might want to leave uh, more delicate vegetables like uh, broccoli for example to the last three or four minutes. The cycle ends with a ping and you can lift your food out. Mmm, mmm, very tasty. In fact, in the last few weeks I've uh, found lots of things have cooked very well in the Ninja Speedy. I tried pasta with veg in the pot and salmon up top, wrapping the salmon in foil to help retain moisture. Lifting out the tray incidentally can be fiddly, even using the recommended silicon tipped tongs. It really needs a handle to grip. By default the recipes serve four, but for two you can halve the quantities and keep the cooking times the same. They do recommend you add an extra layer of foil on the crisping tray to keep the heat balance correct. I tried the combination steam and air fryer function to make potato wedges, interrupting cooking very briefly to add some garlic for extra flavour. I found much of the flavour did sink to the bottom of the pot, but overall they were very good. Mmm, tasty and crisp potato wedges, wonderful! I also tried a recipe from the book for spiced quinoa and cod. Again, I liked the results. I think not wrapped in foil, the fish can be a bit dry, but it, it works very well. It's a very tasty recipe, this, and very easy to do. Mmm, mmm. Cleaning up is very easy. Both the pot and the crisping tray are non-stick and will go in the dishwasher if you prefer. 
Overall, I'm really impressed by the Ninja Speedy. It's just the kind of device that helps people like me, who are rather reluctant cooks, go into the kitchen and start making meals to look forward to. I can wholeheartedly recommend it.